Yo, YouTube, what is up? It is Babesters, and I'm back with a brand new video here today. I'm gonna be reviewing a sneaker that I just caught. Now, this is something different. This ain't tech or nothing like that. Um, I am really huge into streetwear and into sneakers, and I decided that I was gonna unbox these sneakers that I got here today. As you can see from the title, this is the Yeezy Quantum Bear Colorway. Now, let's get into the shoe. <clears throat> this shoe released, I want to say, last week or two weeks ago. But, this is the second colorway of the Yeezy Quantum. Now, this is the lifestyle model. They have a basketball model, which comes with like some different performance aspects that would be meant specifically for basketball players but this is the lifestyle model now they have bought some different aspects from the basketball model like the cage netting and different things like that but, um yeah so the shoe originally like the first original colorway released I want to say in February around all-star weekend and they were passing them out in these crazy looking tanks and everything it was crazy the shoe only released in chicago so that's why this second colorway was really hyped because we haven't really seen like a full release not even for that colorway but they're supposed to be restocking those in september sometime so hopefully I get a pair of those. I really want the OG colorway, but the Barium colorway is really nice. Now, a lot of people see a lot of similarities in the sneaker from the original colorway, Quantum colorway, and the Barium colorway. The actual name Barium is a element on the element charts is a type of metal. So I thought that was pretty cool that. Easy is really trying to do something unique with these different names, whether it's something like a biblical reference or something that's referencing an uh, element from the periodic table. Um, the one thing about this shoe that I can say is that the overall fit of the sneaker fits more like the Yeezy 700s, I would say and they fit true to size pretty much i was hoping that these didn't fit like a 350 or anything like that because i usually have to size up like half size but with these i went true to size size nine um i got them through adidas on the adidas splash page which was so crazy in itself trying to get these sneakers because it was really hard but I am super happy. I'm super satisfied. I really love the colorway. As you can see here, I'm showing off all the parts of the shoe. The 3M is really nice on the shoe. It really lights up when you take flash photos of the sneakers. I really like the laces, but then I don't like the laces. I like how the laces are like real chunky and they have like the cool lace tips on them with kind of you know give me like a boot vibe or something like that but they always come on loose a lot when i wear them so i have to like double tie them and i have to tie them like really really tight but overall this shoe is just a great purchase and i'm really excited about just uh, seeing the different colorways that Yeezy is going to be doing and everything like that and Ye has just been killing it man with the whole Yeezy brand and everything like that and I'm kind of angry at myself that I'm going to start on the sock runners or whatever you call those things but um yeah man here I'm going to be showing some on foot footage the pants I'm wearing are minimal. Um, I hope that everybody has enjoyed the video and enjoyed me just talking about the sneaker and just overall showing me unboxing it. The actual 
sneaker itself is pretty comfortable, I would say. And I would say, go true to size. Um, with so many elements about the sneaker that I can just spend days talking about whether it's the rugged suede toe on it or whether it's like the kind of like heel support tabs that are like at the top of the shoe like inside of the shoe itself it kind of curve into like a little ball for like your ankle which that's kind of cool it's like really designed for comfort and everything but I really love the the caging and everything on it the caging has like this kind of olivish greenish tint but honestly you really can't really see it that much and it looks pretty dope to me you know a lot of people were like they weren't really feeling these but I thought these were pretty dope pretty dope pretty dope sneaker in my opinion and I'm just really ready to just get another pair of these, honestly. Like, I'm going to be trying to top every pair of these that I can. But thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out all my other videos. I will be posting uh, another video on my tie-dye Jordan 1s that came in. I had did a video on those also that I'll be uploading on the channel. I want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and just hit me up if you got any more questions about the sneakers or anything like that.